the news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. Since I was younger, because I'm still small, so since I was younger, I've always had a passion for what my teachers were teaching me. The call is being heard for more young persons to pursue studies in education in the Virgin Islands. And while for some it's their forever dream, their teachers are great inspirations. Um, but one certain teacher named Miss Shana K. Miller, she's really pushed me to motivate myself to continue the passion that I really wanted to do. And that's what really drove me to give that same inspiration to other students and others, well, other children, let me say, to go down the same path and teach them new things and have amazing adventures like what my previous teacher taught me. Um, I would be interested in kindergarten. Now standing alongside and with this promising prospective Virgin Islands educator is her mom. I am incredibly proud of the decision that Michaela has made to become an educator. She's an incredibly strong-willed young lady, beautiful child, and she said that she's wanted to be a teacher. A friend of mine reminded me since she must have been five or six years old, and she has stuck with it. Um, every opportunity she's had to help with littler, younger children than herself, she's always stepped up and, and been willing. And I think that this opportunity that um, Max is assisting us with, um, including the college experience and the work experience, I think all of this will help her to build her confidence and continue to go on to do even greater things than this. Michaela Hastings is a recent graduate of the 7th Day Adventist School and one of the newest enrolled at the H. Lafferty Stout Community College. Michaela is starting off with a $1,000 scholarship fund from a Max Live Well restaurant. And there is a backstory to this initiative, a bold step at her high school graduation ceremony. Well, this year I had the pleasure of speaking at Michaela's graduation exercise. I was the featured speaker and during that ceremony she there was a point where she was able to get up and tell the audience that she wanted to become a teacher it was rather a sort of impromptu session prompted by the third district representative so when I got up to speak it, it dawned on me that Michaela had done something very special she wanted to become a teacher and of course me being a teacher at heart an educator at heart it really connected and I thought why not do something really nice for Michaela since she was brave enough to stand up and say that she wanted to become a teacher and at that point when I ended the graduation address I told Michaela that I would award her $1,000 towards her education at the H. Lavity Stout Community College. So Michaela is currently enrolled at HLSCC and she's also a participant in a New Hires teacher education program, and I understand that she's attached to the Ebenezer Thomas um, Primary School. It is young persons like Michaela who motivates the Thompson family as they build on their business here in the Virgin Islands. It is really our, our honor, Mac Garvey and I, we're very big on giving back to the community, and it seems a natural fit that we're both in business together, and we're always looking for really good opportunities where we can give back and this is really a perfect match to have education and business marry each other right here at the pear park i think my wife said it all i really applaud her and uh, and she have eyes for talent and then when she see that gift in people you know she always will do whatever it takes to invest and to encourage so you know i'm so proud of her and i'm so proud of my girl and you know, we're glad that we can have, you know, babies and toddlers and everything come up to be great men and women. So, congrats to you too. And your mom, you know, you know, may God bless you guys, man, and have great things in your future.
Max lived well the, the, the presentation to Michaela on Friday, August 25, 2023. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars and power are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life, we will live well.